Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 17th, 2022. Well, yesterday was a bit of an opposite day, wasn't it? We got better than expected retail sales numbers, and that brought out those bears to push us down. And then we got the FOMC minutes that said, yep, we're gonna raise rates and the market decided to rally. Kind of a, a opposite reaction of what you would expect. Unfortunately, we really didn't change anything in the charts uh, with all that gyration. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's see if we can look at these charts and figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Um, more volatility is probably in store after a pretty good round of earnings events last night after the bell, but unfortunately we've had a mixed reaction in the market. So taking a look here um, in the Dow, you can certainly see that we are still downtrending we still have significant price resistance levels above. And although we've had a little bit of buying coming into the market and that little bit of hope that things are getting better, well, doggone it, we haven't really changed anything in the technicals of these charts. Now, you can see that we're still holding on to this upside trend. So we've got a little bullishness there. We're trying to hang in. But unfortunately, just not a whole lot of warm and fuzzy here to get us going uh, to the upside just yet. So if those bulls do get inspired, it's going to be critical to see if they can actually break through this downtrend and this resistance level in the chart. If they can pop through there and actually prove to hold a higher low, then hey, I'm going to have to get bullish on the market. But if those bears um, engage here, and why would they re-engage? Well, we still have that issue out there with Russia, Ukraine, um, and adding more troops to the border, creating all of these uh, geopolitical tensions and concern about what may come next. But watch that closely. If we were to drop down through here, we'll be watching that level of price support in the chart. That'll be kind of important to see whether we can hold on there. And unfortunately, these are big point moves. These candles look like, uh, you know, much of nothing. But these are big point moves that are happening in the market and making it very damaging for a lot of retail traders as they try to um, speculate around what comes next. So be kind of careful out there. And then let's take a look at our technicals here just really quickly. Notice that we are still under our 200 day moving average. Our 34 EMA dropping here, um, we've created quite a substantial resistance level um, right through here in that chart. So we'll wanna watch that closely as we try to rally back up. If we pop into some of these resistance levels, that's where we could experience those entrenched bears ready to fight back. We'll see, but just watch that closely. SPY very much the same, um, continuing um, in this downtrend, unable to break back through that resistance level, which is pretty substantial. At least at this point, hasn't been able to get her done but we're still clinging on to this little bit of rally in the chart. So here again, we have kind of a symmetrical triangle. Not really sure which way it's going to go from here. We'll want to keep a close eye on that. Remember, we don't get bullish until we can actually push that downtrend through that downtrend, prove to hold a higher low, and then we're ready to go to the upside uh, potentially. But again, we have about a 50-50 chance here on a symmetrical triangle that we pop to the upside or we move on down. So watch this level of price support if we were to fall. Technically very much the same. Um, it, we did hold on to the 200 day moving average, just kind of clinging to it yesterday. And this morning we've got a little bit of a pullback coming here um, in the, in the pre-market, at least for now. Um, we have had Walmart earnings showing bullishness, so that's helping here just a little bit this morning. So watch that carefully, a um, little bit of pullback going in here. And we've got quite a zone of price resistance right through this area in that chart. 
Then let's take a look. Our QQQ, doggone QQQ, just struggles and struggles and struggles here. We had some mixed reaction to reports last night. Um, NVIDIA um, seems to be indicated lower here this morning after um, their bullish report um, last night. Um, investors not, um, I guess at this point, not getting too um, excited about it. And Cisco uh, looking higher this morning. So a bit of a mix. Um, to, and with another day of earnings reports and Roku probably being the biggest tech tonight, it'll be interesting to see how we manage through this. Now, keep in mind, we've got quite a level of price resistance in that chart. And this really extends over here quite a way. As you can see, we've got a lot of price congestion in here to um, uh, bother this chart just a little bit. So it'll be interesting to see if we can actually find that energy to pop through that area. We have kind of a flat upside trend here on this one. And if we were to fail, you could really see that this might not stop us this time. We could come all the way back down to those lows if those bears come in. So we need to get those bulls uh, working here uh, to the upside if we want to see that bullish market. Um, and our technicals here are certainly not favorable. Notice our 200 day moving average um, above us, our 34 EMA crossing down through. Um, our 50 day moving average is falling pretty rapidly. As a matter of fact, if we don't get up here pretty quickly, we're going to have that 50 crossing down through the 200. So watch that carefully. And then our IWM. IWM um, honestly has surprised me just a little bit here um, the last few days, holding up stronger than I would have expected. But honestly, I believe this is more of a oversold bounce than anything else. We really dropped in here pretty hard. Um, we still have tremendous resistance above and I, and the Russell is still in a downtrend despite this little bit of rally. So I think a little bit of an oversold um, uh, rally back up. And honestly, it did kind of surprise me here, but watching uh, this carefully, I just think that's a wall um, that we're about ready to run into. And technically, if we look at the chart, um, we're just rallying up toward that dropping 50 day moving average. So not, not a bullish chart uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Then let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX uh, pulled back yesterday, but not as much as I think um, a lot of folks would have hoped it would have pulled back. We ended up holding in there around that 25 area um, of the chart, and that is a fairly significant price support level throughout this chart, all the way back in here. Quite a bit of price support in that chart. And we still are kind of maintaining this upside trend here so far. And unfortunately, we didn't really kind of crack down through there. So we'll want to watch this area right in here. This is the place where we could catch that bounce. I'm not sure if we will. We'll want to watch that closely and just keeping in mind we had a lower high here in that chart. Um, so um, although we are in still in this uh, rally, we have that little bit of a downtrend as well, uh, confusing the picture. So just kind of stay on your toes here. A lot of data coming our way today. Um, I think anything is possible. Let's take a look at our T21. 22. Now our T2122 is um, just about as perplexing as anything else. Um, we continue to um, hold up better than I would have expected, honestly, um, in the market. But as you can see, we're pushing up here toward this uh, bearish reversal zone and we haven't been able to quite um, hold up here. We've had a couple times um, in the stretch of the market where we've peaked right up into here, but just haven't been able to quite hold on to that. Um, uh, so just a little bit of an interesting situation. So with all the data coming out today, if the bulls have um, something that they can grab a hold of, you know, Walmart earnings coming out bullish here this morning, if, if they can find something they can hold on to bullishly, then we still have that opportunity. We've got some room here still for that upside move. However, if we find something in here bearish and those bears really start pushing back, we've really opened up quite a downside opportunity here in that chart. So watch carefully for that. And let's take a look at our T2108, which I got to say, guys, gives me a little bit of bullish 
um, uh, picture here and noticing that yesterday, even though we had that selling and that bouncing around in here, notice that T2108 held up relatively well. So we're pushing into this downtrend here on T2108 and we're pushing up into some fairly significant levels of price resistance. But I got to say, I'm going to give this up to the bulls here uh, just a little bit. We're 39, 40 percent of our stocks um, holding above that 40 day moving average. So we're seeing those bulls maybe stiffen up here just a little bit, willing to defend a little bit more than they have in the recent past. So watch that. And our T2107 also showing us that those bulls are trying to stiffen up just a little bit and be a little bit more feisty. Um, defending because we um, relatively held up well here in our T2107 with 34% of our stocks um, above the 200 day moving average. It's certainly not bullish conditions, but it's better to see them kind of holding on and fighting in here just a little bit. We've got a lot of resistance above here in T2107, so I'm not sounding the all clear here at all, but it is nice to see that those bulls are fighting just a little bit hot, harder, uh, particularly if you're uh, if you're bullish on the market. Let's take a look at our T2101. Now this has been interesting. T2101 has continued to decline, and one of the reasons I think that is happening is we've seen a pretty um, anemic market when it comes to volume. Volumes have just been really light on this rally back up with a lot of seesawing, a lot of back and forth. But what's interesting in here is typically um, um, we don't see um, when we have as much selling in the market as we've had that back and forth, we typically see T2101 uh, rise just a little bit. We haven't been seeing that. So what I think could be occurring here is we push down into these low levels and I'm not sure which way this is going to go. But T2101 says we could be building to a significant move in the market. Now it could be a significant move up or a significant move down. We'll want to watch that closely but we're kind of setting up for a big move. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our uh, diamonds. Our diamonds chart, or excuse me, um, our <laughs> diamonds chart, our um, economic calendar. Our economic calendar, um, we're kind of busy here this morning. We've got some housing numbers here uh, today. That might be a little bit interesting. Housing starts and permits when we continue to see mortgage applications coming in pretty weak at a negative 5.4 yesterday, although that was just a little improvement over last month. Um, still pretty negative number, so it'll be interesting to see how the actual housing starts uh, come in and permits today. Um, we'll want to watch that closely. Um, we've also got um, our jobless claims coming in today in the Philly Fed. That will be are important numbers here today. But there's one other thing on this calendar today I think we better pay attention to, and that is this conversation right here, James Bullard. Um, everyone knows probably James Bullard uh, seems to be the most hawkish of the Fed members, and he is out there in front um, endorsing a 50 basis point increase in March. Now, he's been pushing pretty hard, and one of the things that's interesting about him is he really seems to be very, very concerned about the credibility of the Fed. And recently, the credibility of the Fed has diminished dramatically with the trading scandal and, and the fact that they are so far behind on inflation. So he's coming in pretty strong on that. He he may have, um, his comments may have the ability to move the market today. So you might want to pay attention to that. And then of course, as it's always important to pay attention to these bond auctions. We've got a 30 year bond auction today, but those have been going off pretty well with amazing foreign demand uh, for the higher, um, higher um, rates that we're seeing in these bonds. So kind of keep a close eye on that. Remember tomorrow as you're planning forward, we're gonna have existing home sales and another bevy of uh, Fed speakers to keep us on our toes. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. Now we have a really busy day with about 200 companies reporting earnings this morning, or not just this morning, but today. 
and um, we've got quite a few potential notables. Now, these are not exactly the notables that are really going to move us around. I mentioned Walmart has already um, reported um, this morning, and you can see Walmart indicating a little bit higher here this morning on that move. But we're going to hear from like Consolidated Edison today. We're going to hear uh, GMED today. We're going to hear from Keys. Today, um, probably the bigger um, um, tech report today will be Roku. Um, we'll hear from them later on this afternoon. We've got Shake Jack um, um, in the mix here today. So keep a close eye on these. We've got a lot of potential moving around. Now, unfortunately, these are not exactly the companies that produce big market moves. So they're not they're not those kind of reports that just, you know, fire up the market in one direction or the other. So we'll want to just keep an eye on that. But we're kind of starting to run out of those uh, those big names that really move the market heavily um, as we kind of wind down through the earnings season. So um, if you want to catch the full list of notables, please click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog and you'll be able to catch that full list. List. Now let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could please do me a favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon so that you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be worthy, to be helpful, if you could please click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment, and then also please share these videos out on your social media feed. I want to say thanks so much to everyone because the channel has just been steadily growing. Um, it's not a speed move or anything like that. Um, and I just truly, truly appreciate all the kindness and support in the comments. Um, you guys have been awesome. Um, I apologize the last couple of days. I haven't been able to answer those comments. Just caught up in too many things going on. My partner is, is gone on vacation. And so I've been just kind of handling um, all the trading rooms and been really, really busy. So, um, but I will be back on that today. Day. Um, and I just want everyone to know that I truly appreciate your kind words. It, it means the world to me. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to be really, really careful in this market. Um, the volatility remains high. We get these big whipsaws throughout the day um, that move things around considerably. And with this Russia-Ukraine tension, we kind of, it's like the market just has this dark cloud over it right now. We're just wondering what is the next thing that's going to occur. Um, so well, just be a little bit careful. Um, let's take a look at a stock, BBBY. Now, this is a stock that I hold. And so I have a little bit of a bias on this trade, but um, watching this stock in here as we continue to consolidate through this area still looks pretty darn good. We popped up and um, uh, and then ended up pulling back again yesterday. I'm waiting to see if we can get that bullish energy to really pop this through. So I think there's still time to maybe uh, catch into this trade. We've got this nice little upside move going on. I don't, I certainly won't be the person that says, I guarantee this is going to go up because I don't have that idea at all. Um, I just want to have a little bit of long and I want to have a little bit of short in this market. And this is one of the longs I'm holding on to. And you can see anything long has been struggling to move up in the market. We start, we have all kinds of fits and starts. We push a little bit and then we pull back and we push a little bit and we pull back. And um, we're struggling in these areas of these charts. So even though if you look to go long the market, just be prepared for a lot of bit of a lot of back and forth and you're going to have to wait. Um, another chart that you might want to be keeping an eye on, um, take a look at TLRY. If you're into uh, cannabis stocks, or interested in those, TLRY, CGC, CRON, um, a lot of those have started to rally here just a bit. Now, I will say that TLRY has a fairly strong resistance level in the chart, but I like the pattern in here. Um, I like the rising pattern, and I also like the fact that we're crossing up through that 50-day moving average.
So if we can get up there and hold, that's what we call a rounded bottom breakout. And that rounded bottom breakout usually performs really well for me. So keep an eye on that. So I, I might have a little bias on this because I really like that chart pattern, but watch that closely to see if um, that has some potential here for, for you. Take a look at some of these casinos. Um, I've been watching Penn National here and Penn National is right there at the setup point. So keep an eye on that. That may start coming around here in the next day or two if we can find some bullishness in the market. And if we start pushing up through here, then hey, Take advantage of that. We've got some good potential moves here um, that could occur and plenty of upside potential if it does cross through and move up. Now, keep in mind, this is another one of those rounded bottom breakouts, and this is a better pattern than the uh, TLRY in the fact that we've already broken through that 50 and we are proving to hold that 50 day moving average. So the 200, I mean, the rounded bottom breakout, what we look for is the 200 day as the um, ultimate target here for this trade. They won't go up in a straight line typically, but if we can continue to follow this trend and start moving up toward that 200 day, that would be awesome. So keep an eye on that. P-E-N-N -N, looking pretty good. Um, other casinos out there are doing similar things. Um, LVS looking pretty strong here. Um, broke above this resistance level in the chart, held onto that, continuing to push higher. So we're seeing quite a few of those casinos look good. You may also want to keep an eye on stocks like VALE. VALE looking pretty good here, continuing in this upside trend. And by the way, guys, this is nothing more than the rounded bottom breakout. You can see it right there. Rounded bottom breakout. We found that move up to the 200 day moving average. And that's something how that works. And if you take a look at this chart, um, still showing some bullishness in this um, in this chart, you will want to be keep, kind of keeping in mind that this may need a little bit more rest to come back to trend. And we do have to co concern ourselves with this resistance level over here. Oftentimes you see when we rally up toward that 200 day, it'll wear that 200 day as a hat for a little while um, as resistance before it finds enough energy to push through. So keep a close eye on it, but it's looking pretty darn good. So there's a few stocks for you to consider today. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. And we'll see you bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one, everyone.